А, всем привет, ребят! Вы находитесь на канале Ритер Плей. Меня зовут Александр. И мы заканчиваем проходить. Вернее, можно сказать, уже закончили. 8 эпизодов в игре. Алита Орфеус, маленький Орфей. Путешествие Ивана Ивановича. А это будет бонусный эпизод к игре. Девятая серия. И давайте посмотрим, что произойдет в бонусе. Я так понимаю, все-таки вернулся он домой. И давайте смотреть. Всем приятного просмотра. Половина на русском. It is indeed a lovely sunset, and it reminds me of the skies of Peru. I didn't. I never told you about the wonderful sky city. Well, it was an extraordinary place, but one filled with dangers. Well, it might have been simple for you to cross it, but you were in a space capsule. I had to rely on my own two feet, my nushki. Feet which, I might add, had just crossed the interior, beaten the villain tall, and helped inspire the Mjank to a worker's revolution. <coughs> oh, that's all very easy for you to say, but your idea of civilized behavior is licking your own bottom in public. No. My adventures above the clouds were filled with untold dangers, death-defying escapes, and some really quite extraordinarily large Bielorybica. And it happened like this. Девятый эпизод порция лука. Weeks had passed since I left Plutonia, and one evening, exhausted, I simply fell asleep at the foot. Да, ему на самом деле книги писать надо. And when I awoke, well, that thought didn't cross my mind. I was exhausted after all. This is besides the point, my nosy canine friend. What matters is this. When I awoke, the windmill and the ground around it had been carried high into the air. What magic was this? Toza magia. As unlikely, perhaps, as a suitcase-sized dog orbiting the center of the Earth for many years. <laughs> Quiet. Quick as a flash, Kakmonia, my training leapt into play, and I began to paddle the strange contraption through the clouds in search of answers. <coughs> it is entirely possible that a miller who owns a windmill capable of levitating high into the air may also own a flying machine. <coughs> oh, now you're just being silly. May I continue my recounting of how I sailed over the sky gardens towards the mystical city of Peru? Oh, oh, oh I must, my moy ushati drug. I must. Ну нифига не вот тут. Нормально в деревне, наверное, грибы хорошие растут, корчки. Отсюда у него такие эти фантазии-то, видения всякие, приходы. Ваня Ваныч. Он сейчас на воздушных потоках новая фишка. Там, в принципе, на пузыре как было этот под водой-то. Тут на воздушном потоке сделали. Oh. 
What powerful emanations! What mighty gusts! What an epic squall! They reminded me of Cousin Pavel, yes! But whereas his rearward zephyrs could curdle milk and tarnish the teaspoons, these magical wafts only serve to carry me aloft and onwards. Так, что-то надо сделать тут. А, после воздушные потоки мы запустили таким образом. И улетели. Неизвестно куда. This horrid muck staining the surfaces and making my nose curl. <laughs> yes, it was positively uh, Pavelian in scent. But it did not belong here. I think I once told you of Auntie Marsha's passionate encounter in a cable car with the manganese entrepreneur from Chiatura. <laughs> now, Auntie Marsha told me that there was a disagreeable stain and smell all around those factories and smelting works. Our industry is not without its dangers. Could it be that the once bucolic gardens of Peru were being corrupted by unchecked pollution? After all, science is a double-edged sword, my bristly confidant. <laughs> Consider Zemikov. <laughs> of course, of course. I apologize. Прошу прощения. Two-headed dogs is perhaps a rather insensitive. <laughs> But not without justification in this instance. I have seen the blemished lands around Narilsk, but I could not believe that I would find such pollution here. But this was nothing, nothing to the true horror of what was shortly to unfold. Так, что тут? А тут наоборот отключать, что ли? Нет ведь, наверное. Ну-ка. Ну-ка, давай назад. Нет, похоже, надо отключить. Ну-ка, так. А, так не работает, блин. Надо именно до конца... Ой-ой. Ой. Terrible, страшная машина, spewing its poison into the air, had created a monstrous thing. A being. A malignant spoiler of the noble and pure. And it had taken on the form of its prey. Well, of course. Ну, конечно, I was the prey. The citizens of Peru had been prey добыча, по-моему, да? But I inadvertently wandered into its lair. Oh, I know, I know. Misfortune seemed to dog me. Oh, sorry, I do apologize. To follow my every footstep. But no time to ponder. No time to bemoan the hand that fate had dealt me. No. All that was on my mind was escape, конечно. Escape, конечно, блин. Так он прикольно говорит. А, так, тут надо вверх поток перенаправить, видимо. Ну, в 3D такую игрушку-то по баще, думаю, играть. Столько 3D, ну, под 3D вот этих эффектов сделан. 
The windmills seem to be from an earlier age. Perhaps this was a devastating warning of the destructive power of unfettered industrialization. I most certainly had not forgotten about the windmills. I did not get carried away. You are missing the point. Perhaps because you are only a small dog. Oh, a brilliant, brave, spacefaring dog, of course, but a small Sabashka nonetheless. If you perhaps listened more and interrupted less, I am just getting to the explanation of the windmills. My stinky nemesis was back, but more interesting was the change in the city. Что то я загляделся, блин. Надо этот чуть-чуть подождать, видимо, было. My stinky nemesis was back, but more interesting was the change in the city. The windmills were fading out, clearly obsolete, mothballed. Relics. Instead, a sense of an obsession with power was apparent. Terrible machines, ever hungry and reliant on the rabid consumption of fuel, the production of toxic fumes and choking gases. Pride, my pushisti compadre. Pride, ambitia. My pushisti, товарищ. The dark side of science. Zemechov's head too many. Don't be ridiculous, dog. Only a durak with the intellectual capacity of a ringworm would think windmills are in any way harmful. Durak. Кстати, по поводу Prey, у меня в группе ВКонтакте есть рецензия на этот фильм. Мне он во многих аспектах не понравился. К тому же это... Ой, если бы это был не хищник, может, было бы и неплохо. В общем, кому интересно, можете почитать. Ну, вообще, и обзоров, и рецензий. Уже об этом так много было сказано. Честно говоря, обидно, что с такой популярной франци... франшизой, как хищник, такое делают. Такое посредственное кино снимают. С кучей нелогичности, нелепости и так далее. Ну и под повестки, конечно, не ушли. Сильные и независимые у нас везде сейчас. Так, видимо, эту надо подвинуть штучку нам. И перезапрыгнуть наверх. Я уж нафантазировал, тут что-то и индустриальное общество, он там от завода труба работает, какие-то шары улетают. Парень, да. На самом деле, не тем занимаешься. Ну-ка. Ой, ой, тут похоже сломано, да? Успели, успели. Так, что надо на воздушный шаг, наверное, запрыгнуть нам. Of course, you never had much of a chance to travel. Sarcasm doesn't suit you. You don't have the tail for it. You do at least have a tail. Mind you, family gossip maintains that so did Uncle Rabliem. Although it was apparently little more than a stub and a source of considerable discomfort and social anxiety for him. The question of whether or not Uncle Rabliem wagged his stub is very much off topic. What I am trying to say is that your upbringing on the streets of Moscow meant that you saw the blackened fields of Magnitogorsk. The sacrifices made by the Soviet industrial heartland, 
as they drowned in their own plight, even as they powered the state forwards. I was reminded of Magnitogorsk as I wandered through those fields of pipes and foundries. And I wept for the loss of innocence that so often goes hand in hand with progress. Опять ты, блин. Она хромает, а перепрыгивает то уверенно. Она уже это раздуплится, короче, друган. Починить ногу то, блин. Как ты это делал до этого? Indeed. I just evaded the slimy, oily grasp of that man-made Vodzinoi, his petroleum stink clogging my nostrils and making my head thump. And I felt a great stirring within me. <laughs> yes, much like I assume Cousin Pavel. May he never get loose again. But no, quite different. This was no volcanic up-bubbling of gastric malintent. No, it was the roaring fires of justice once more ignited within me. I felt a swell of patriotic fervor and knew the hand of destiny had fallen on me once more. Yes, what a hand it was. I could not see this great wonder sink into an abyss of poison and bile. The Perunians may have been forced to abandon their city, but I had saved the world once before and was ready to answer the call again. Главное долететь. Ну да, даже, наверное, хорошо, что игра не, не столь длинная. Где-то все, все, на все про все в целом-то, если посчитать, часа 4 уходит. Не успевает, надо есть. And was reminded of the time Auntie Agrafina devised a contraption to water all of her copious algae beds simultaneously with one flush of the toilet by a system of pipes and valves that ran throughout her house. Orzhna Takskazait, in a manner of speaking, yes. Her algae were most irrigated, although her neighbor Victor was washing his trousers in the sink at the time and was bruised quite severely about the face and body. But these were no ordinary flying metal fish. They were designed to expel air, fresh air, and push back the polluted clouds. Что все механики тут их немного они повторяются. Бы была длиннее, наверное, надоело. Так очень красивая картинка на вечерок, на два вечерка. Ну, у кого сколько времени? Так для детей, так и для взрослых. Хорошо подойдет игрушка. Юморка много, и такой перевод такой полурусский, полуанглийский. Очень забавно звучит. Так, и что у меня? А... Что происходит -то? Так, а, это закрылось, надо, чтобы она открылась, видимо.
Ну так и есть. There is of course a fine tradition of looking to nature to solve problems of a scientific or military persuasion. Yes, as you well know. My nephew Sergei. Yes, the very same. Poor lad with his dermatological eruptions. Oh, well, Sergei was stationed recently at Kazatcha Buchta, where dolphins. Dolphins? No, they don't pretty dash. Brilliant aquatic agents of socialism. Why not then be inspired by marine life? Why, there is a fish, I have heard, that can shoot jets of water from beneath the surface to knock it. If you were to tell the average mushroom sheriff that a dog would orbit the earth, I suspect you would receive a Ah, это вот без этого я бы не прошу. Всё понятно. Because you are a small hairy hound of uncertain heritage. I, on the other hand, am a cosmonaut. The product of many months of training. And I realized the answer to pollution was here all along. The Peronians, tragically, had simply never had time to finish their fleet. A working flying fish. If only. If only. Yes. If only. No. Приключение, конечно. Of course. The poisonous tuchata that engulfed Perun was like a nasty cold. And you know what to do with a cold to rid yourself of it. You may not get colds, but nor can you operate pea shelling machinery. So don't get ideas above your station. We humans, on the other hand, may produce up to 16 million perfectly unshelled peas in an average shift. But we are martyrs to our spaces. But to clear them, aha! These are remedies we Russians have been perfecting over the long centuries of harsh winters. Onions. A quick snifter of onion oil will clear your head faster than a Pragviev can clear a hypothetical minefield. Yes, if I could find a functional fish, I would become that onion. Все три да повернул и все не штят, что ли? Ну и загадка. Я думал, что-то подгадывать надо. Да, загадки простые, да нельзя мне. Да, и даже не загадки. I was close. I could feel it. Yes, yes, the working fish, the ribka. I could feel I was at the heart of Peru. Ты такой бежал нормально, вспомнил, что хромать надо. Ну блин, ну почему? Не срабатывает и все, он так меня догнал. Здесь получится убегать. Ай, блин. Давай быстрее, блин. Ну, 
Ну, кислотой ты что не травишься? Ну, хотя он сам такой какой-то кислотный. Токсичный Тёма это. Not far now. I just have to keep going, keep pushing. It's almost... Ну, блин, ну, ты достал, блин. Ну, конечно, вот из-за того, что он, блин, нормально встать не мог, блин, я и просрал, блин. Это вообще реально так бесит, блин. I was close. I could feel it. Yes, yes, the working fish, the рыбка. I could feel I was at the heart And my noxious pursuer had renewed its chase with a terrible vigor. Чем ты останавливаешься, он назад разворачивается и уже крутить не хочет. Так реально бесит, блин. В этой игре вот это вот. Даже на четвертой версии это не поправили. Короче, в такие моменты рычаги это самое злобное. Что-то главное откат... откатили это далеко, блин. Ой, боже. Сейчас лишь бы сработало, блин. Ладно, у меня фора хорошая. Бонусный эпизод то даже подлиннее, чем остальные, похоже, будет. Бонусные Поехали! Onwards to victory! А, что, на рыбке полетать дадут? А что-нибудь умеет делать? Еще так началось, блин. Ой, ой, ой. Ой. Тебя гасить-то, видимо, не надо пока. Когда пасть разливает только. Ай да, да как так тут? Чуть сразу тут. Блин, и как далеко меня откинули? Задел то с лиганца, блин. Ой, даже все по новой, ну это, конечно, не, несправедливо, я считаю. Как бы не, абсолютно не сложно, ну, случайно бывает, за денежки. 
жизни будут ай блин ты столько насобирал в этот раз может и задевал меня кстати а починиться можно Серьезнее стало. Ну тоже не сложно. Не знаю уж как не прошел с первого раза. Бывает. The strange interior sunlight gleaming on the sides of my fishy vessel. I heard birds clear their little throats and begin their wondrous gvalt. The wind gently humming on the fins. And then, all of a sudden, under it all... Well, you see, in my hurry, it didn't even occur to me to check how much fuel was carried in the strange... With a horrible splutter, the engines choked and died. And suddenly we were plummeting downwards towards our doom. I did not. A simple mistake that many have made. Why, my Aunt Agrafina met her untimely demise being late for a fungal sculpting seminar and making exactly the same error. Only, unfortunately, it left her stranded in sub-zero temperatures just outside Pravachitsinsk. She wasn't found until 18 years after her own funeral, but was perfectly preserved. Remarkable, really. It is beside the point, yes. So, there I was. My fabulous ship had become a terrible prison. I was hurtling to my almost certain death. My triumph turned to tragedy. But then... Well, you know what happened next. Even so, мой махнати друг, that is a story for another time. A most extraordinary story, of course, filled with dangers and wonders, and canals, and invasions, and strange doorways to other worlds. But perhaps too long a story for now. <laughs> yes, indeed, my canine tavarish. Time for soup. Auntie Agrafina's famous borscht. Такое окончание истории про Ивана Ивановича. Ставьте лайки, подписывайтесь, кто еще этого не сделал. Также другие мои ресурсы, ссылка на них в описании видео, шапки канала YouTube. И давайте посмотрим, что еще скажу. Почитаю. Всем пока.
He's thinking of retiring, he says. <coughs> yes, and moving to Bashkiria to nurture bees. <coughs> bees? Surprised me, too. I thought if animal husbandry was to be his passion, it would be a large, manly animal like elk, or bears, or a caban. <coughs> Perhaps the bees he is thinking of are particularly militaristic. <coughs> or stingy, yes. <coughs> Did you want bread with your soup? In which case, there's half a tin of old beef you could also finish. Somewhat gray, but uh, I'm sure it won't taste awful. <laughs> yes, my four-legged associate. Now, did I ever tell you the story of when Uncle Rablien got his stub ensnared in the seat of a wicker chair in the finest fish restaurant in the whole of Pagliazzi? Так, ну все, теперь точно. Всем пока.